back students to standard 9th maths chapter 9 areas of parallelograms and triangles we are in the 11th session uh, and in this session we are going to solve objective questions but before that we are going to see some important results which we shall be using in solving the objective questions okay now the first two one these are parallel lines I'm going to draw one parallelogram between these parallel lines. Right? This is a red parallelogram. Let's say A, B, C, D. Then I'm going to draw another parallelogram. Let's say this is green one. A, B, P, Q. So what is the result children? Area of parallelogram A, B, C, D is equal to area of parallelogram a, B, P, Q and you can call it X that is equal to X clear so areas are equal now on because red parallelogram and green parallelogram lie on the same base A, B and between the same parallel lines L and M now I am going to take two triangles Alright, this is red triangle. And this is green one. Both of them lie on the same base and between the same parallels. Let me say this is triangle ABC and the green one is ABP. So once again, Area of red triangle ABC is equal to area of green triangle ABP and that is equal to let's say X. Both areas are equal. Next, I'm going to take one parallelogram. Alright, this is parallelogram A, B, C, D. Parallelogram A, B, C, D. And on the same base, I'll choose a triangle. The green one. Yes. This is triangle A, B, P. So, parallelogram ABCD and green triangle ABP lie on the same base. Now, children, you should remember here, area of green triangle, area of triangle ABP is equal to half the area of parallelogram, area of parallelogram ABCD. And that is what we are going to call it as X. So here, what is area of parallelogram uh, ABCDX? What is area of parallelogram ABPQX? What is area of triangle ABCX? What is area of triangle ABPX? What is area of triangle ABPX? And what is area of parallelogram ABCD? This two will multiply with X. Half ko ho baadu le jao, so two. So two X. Area of triangle ABP is X, but area of parallelogram ABCD will be 2x. Be careful. Alright children. Now, here is one triangle ABC. And B is midpoint of BCD. 
D is midpoint of BC. If I draw AD, it's called median. Usse median kehte hai. Alright children. So median gives you two triangles. One is ABD and other is ADC. Children, they always have equal area. Area of triangle green, that is ABD, is equal to area of triangle red, red line, let's say. That is ADC and that is equal to X. So what is area of triangle ABD, X? And what is area of triangle ADC? That is also X. <coughs> is that clear? Now in the next figure, we have trapezium A, B, C, D. We have trapezium A, B, C, D. All right. And uh, from one of the vertex, I draw altitude on the opposite side. Let's say A, M is the altitude. So the formula to find area of trapezium here. AB is parallel to AB is parallel to CD. Those are parallel sides. And AM is the height of parallel trapezium. This is trapezium, correct? Height of trapezium. That is the distance between the parallel lines. Now the formula to find area of trapezium ABCD is equal to, be careful, half, that is the into altitude, which is AM into very interesting the sum of parallel sides a b and c d are parallel sides so a b plus c d a b plus c d so this is the formula to find area of trapezium we have already derived it okay children let's see the next one this is triangle a b c i'm going to draw the three medians let me take D, the midpoint of BC. And this is median. E is midpoint of AC. So BE is the other median. And the third median is CF. F is midpoint of AB. E is midpoint of AC and D is midpoint of BC. This medians, they intersect at one point which is called G, centroid. This is called centroid. Is that clear? All right. And its symbol is usually taken as, yes, it's usually taken as the G. All right, children. Now, children, Six triangles are formed and all six triangles have same area. I'm calling it X or I'm calling it as A, 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 A. Area of triangle B, G, D, A. Area of triangle C, D, G, A. Area of triangle E, G, C, A. Area of triangle E, G, A, A. Area of triangle F, G, A, small a. Area of triangle B, G, F, that is also A. All right, children. Now, I am going to remove this part. Isko consider nahi kar raun. So I am considering this triangle. The red one. Correct? This red triangle. Formed by side and centroid. It's formed by side and centroid. Now there is one more side. Alright. Join it with centroid. So this is another triangle formed. And... Why not? There's third side as well. This. And it forms the blue triangle if you join it with centroid. So this is the third triangle. Now what is the area of these two triangles? A plus A 2A. A plus A 2A. A plus A 2A. So they are going to be equal. So in area of the whole triangle, I'm going to call it X. So this is also X and this is also X. So remember, when G is centroid, G is centroid, of triangle ABC. Take that AB and then G. BC the second side and G. Then AC the third side and then G. Areas are equal. Area of this triangle is equal to 
area of this triangle is equal to area of this triangle and that is equal to x. Okay, so what is area of triangle ABG x? What is area of triangle BGC uh, GBC x? What is area of triangle GAC x? So what is the area of uh, whole triangle x plus x plus x? 2x. What is the area of this quadrilateral ABC x plus x 2x? What is area of triangle whole? Yes, x plus x plus x 3x. But area of triangle formed by centroid. Centroid, if you take in a triangle, it will give you, see this, I'm drawing it again. Here is one triangle ABC and I take G, the centroid, all right? And if you join centroid with sides, you get three triangles and measure of each triangle is equal and that is measure of area, okay? Areas are equal and each is X. Clear children, okay? Plenty of results to be learned before we solve the objective questions. Now this is parallelogram children. Here is rhombus. You know the properties we have learnt. This is rectangle and square. Alright. Children, I am going to take the midpoints. Suppose this is Parallelogram A, B, C, D. Now I'm going to take midpoints of all three, all four sides. Call it P, that is midpoint of this. Q, that is midpoint of this. R, that is midpoint of this. And S, that is midpoint of this. All right. Then join the midpoints. Yes, there are four sides, so four midpoints. So if you join four points, you get quadrilateral. But now you have to tell which type of quadrilateral is that. So green quadrilateral is obtained by joining the midpoints of parallelogram. All right, children. Doesn't it look like a parallelogram? Yes, it is a parallelogram. All right. So here, a quadrilateral a quadrilateral it can be proved children formed by joining the midpoints midpoints of a parallelogram of a parallelogram is a parallelogram is a parallelogram wo parallelogram hi hota hai all right, children. And remember, area of that green parallelogram PQRS is half the area of parallelogram ABCD. I'll discuss that later. First, Charo result dekh lete. Okay. Now, I'll join the midpoints of, yes, let's say A. B, C, D is the rhombus. The midpoints are P, Q, R and S. Now I'll join the midpoints and let's see what we are getting. Children, it's a rectangle, not square, but it is a rectangle. So a quadrilateral formed by joining now this also can be proved by joining the midpoints of a rhombus is a rectangle is a rectangle and area of this rectangle PQRS is equal to half the area of rhombus, rhombus, that is A, B, C, D. Is that clear, children? Yaha bhi green ka half of hole, red ka half of hole. Now we have a rectangle. I'll join 
Okay, suppose this is rectangle ABCD. I am taking the midpoints of AB, CD, BC, and AD, and then I will join the midpoints. And children, what do you get? You get a rhombus. This is rhombus. All right. P Q R S is a rhombus. So you have a statement here, children. A quadrilateral obtained by joining the midpoints of a rectangle is a rhombus is a rhombus and area of that rhombus area of rhombus p q r s is half the area of rectangle half the area of rectangle a b c d all right children Chal. next is square Let's say this is square A, B, C, D. And I join the midpoints of A, B, C, D, B, C and A, D as P, Q, R, S respectively. And if I draw a closed figure, then what do I get? I get another square. Children, I get another square. So, here is the statement, children. A quadrilateral, not quadrilateral, but, yeah, a quadrilateral, the black one is obtained. A quadrilateral obtained by joining the midpoints of a square is a square is a square all right and area of this quadrilateral that is area of the square black one area of p q r s is half the area of square a b c d all right so please remember this results children now it's very easy to prove them all right if i draw this AC. Then you know these are line segment joining the midpoints in this triangle. So that will be parallel. Same way in this triangle, this will be parallel. Now green line is parallel to this diagonal. This green line is parallel to diagonal. So they are parallel. Same way if you draw the other diagonal, if you draw the other diagonal, this green line is parallel to diagonal, this green line is parallel to diagonal. So they are also parallel. So this is a parallelogram. Correct? Same way here. What this is a parallelogram, but you can prove one of the angle is right angle, so it will be a rectangle. Here you can prove it's a rhombus, and here you can prove it's a square. But I'm not going for that proof, children. But this proof I'll show you why area of green is half of that. Children, they mane ye line segment joined curly, which is joining the midpoints of two opposite sides. Now look here. BC is parallel to AD. So QC will be parallel to SD because of betweenness. And QC is half of BC and DS is half of AD. So half, BC equal to AD. So half of BC will be half of AD. So QC equal to SD. So that means in this quadrilateral, one pair of opposite side is not only parallel but also equal. So this is a parallelogram. So black line is parallel to red line. Similarly, you can prove this is a parallelogram. So this black line is parallel to a red line. So here, these two are parallel. So usme ye triangle hai. Area of triangle, area of triangle SQR will be half the area of parallelogram, half the area of parallelogram SQCD. Same way niche, area of this triangle, area of triangle SQP is half the area of parallelogram ABQS ABQS using Euclid's property 
area of this triangle plus area of this triangle will give me the area of green parallelogram so i am adding this iska add kiya this plus this so i am getting area of pqrs all right if i add this i get half common aur ye parallelogram plus ye parallelogram add karenge to bada parallelogram milega that is abcd so that's the result area of parallelogram abc pqrs is half the area of uh, parallelogram abcd here area of uh, this is rectangle of course area of rectangle is half the area of rhombus area of this rhombus is half the area of rectangle area of this square will be half the area of this big square is that clear children all right now we move on to the objective questions all right let's see how well you have understood the important results and how well you remember it two parallelograms are on the same base and between the same parallels the ratio of the areas children ye raha aapka do parallelogram let me say this is a red one that is a b c d and the blue one that is a b e f all right so what is area of red one children what is area of red one a b c d that will be equal to area of blue one that is a b e f and that is equal to x dono ka same hai na now you have to find the ratio area of a b c d is to area of a b e f is equal to what is area of a b c d x is to what is area of uh, a b e f x so that is 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 answer is c got it equal area so ratio is 1 is to 1 you may write directly if you want next a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallels all right this time you have a parallelogram and triangle let's say this is parallelogram a b c d and a triangle let's say a b e all right this is they are on the same base and between the same parallels so you know area of triangle a b e is equal to half the area of parallelogram abc and that is equal to x so what is area of triangle x what is area of parallelogram ye 2 wahan jayega 2x so be careful now once again the ratio of areas of triangle first and then parallelogram so area of triangle abe is to ratio means is to area of parallelogram abcd is equal to what is area of triangle that is x is to what is area of parallelogram remember ye 2 jayega 2x so that is x upon 2x x x cancel so 1 upon 2 bacha so 1 is 2 2 1 is 2 2 that is the ratio children understood next let abc be a triangle of area 24 square units and pqr be a triangle formed by joining the midpoints of sides okay you have triangle abc this the green one the big one and you have the red triangle by joining the midpoints all right okay this result we have seen i think we haven't discussed here humne yahan discuss nahi kiya hai but we have seen this remember mesh yes all this triangles four triangles formed have equal area so use that okay so what you are supposed to what you have got area of triangle abc is equal to 24 and this red triangle pqr is obtained by joining the midpoint Yes, the area of red triangle is x, and area of uh, green triangle is x plus x plus x. That is 4x. If you want area of this parallelogram P C Q R, then x plus x that is 2x. If you want area of uh, trapezium B C Q R, then x plus x plus x that will give me 3x. Anyway, children, be careful. You are supposed to find area of triangle P Q R. which is 4x but unless you get the value of x 
you can't get uh, the value of 4x. So here area of, sorry, PQR is x. I'm sorry, area of triangle PQR is x, correct? Which we are supposed to find. Now area of triangle ABC is 24, extension of condition. And what is area of triangle ABC? 4x children. So mujhe equation mil gaya. What is the equation? 4x is equal to 24. 4 ones are 4 six are. So x is equal to 6. Oh, area of triangle PQR is x. And that is 6 square units. So answer is B, 6 square units. So this is how you will have to work. Alright. Next. The median of triangle divides it into. Children, you have a triangle. A, B, C. And D is the midpoint. So this A, D is median. Now it divides the triangle into two triangles. Lekin kaise? Are they congruent? Ho bhi sakte ho, nahi bhi ho sakte. So ye nahi. Isosceles triangles. Wo dono isosceles triangle wo kaise pata chalega? Right angle triangles. Ho bhi sakte, nahi ho sakte. Dono ye ho sakte or nahi ho sakte. Areas are equal. That is always there. Areas are equal. So answer is D. The median of a triangle divides a given triangle into two triangles of equal area. Wo dono triangle congruent ho sakte hai kya? Ho sakta hai. Ye triangle ABC kaisa hai? Usko upar depend hai. Kya dono isosceles ho sakte hai kya? Wo bhi possible hai. Right triangles ho sakte hai kya? Wo bhi possible hai children. Alright? Fine. So now, moving on to the last four objectives of this session. And that is, let's see. Number 5. What we have in triangle A, B, C, D, E, F are midpoints. Alright. You have triangle A, B, C. D. Pehle B, C hai. So D is midpoint. Phir C, A hai. E is midpoint. And like this. Okay. Aap ye likhi lo. Ye X hai. Ye X hai. Ye X hai. A X hai. So if you want area of triangle A, B, C, it is X plus X plus X4. If you want area of only this parallelogram, then X plus X, uh, 2X. If you want area of this uh, trapezium, X plus X plus X, 3X. Dekh lijiye kya diya hai aur kya dhundna hai. Area of triangle A, B, C is 16. Area of triangle A, B, C is 16. By A, B, C matlab ye pura. And that is equal to 4x. Extension of condition. Aapko equation mil gaya. 4x is equal to 16. 4 ones are 4 o's are. So x is equal to 4. Ye x aapko 4 mil gaya. Now we have to find what? Area of triangle APB. A. Sorry. Area of trapezium. Yaha ye question. F, B, C, E. F, B, C, E. Ye trapezium ki area. Now area of F, B, C, E, that trapezium, dekhlo x plus x plus x, that is 3x, that is 3 into x, that is 4, and 12 square units. So answer is C, 12 square units, correct? A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, let me draw. This is parallelogram A, B, C, D, alright? P is a point on C, D, somewhere P is a point Area of triangle DPA, D, D, P, A, this triangle, uski area, that is 15, area of triangle D, P, A is equal to 15, area of triangle A, P, C, area of triangle A, P, C, A, P, or C, A, wala. right, this one, that is area of triangle A, P, C. That is how much? 20 centimeters square. Alright. And you are supposed to find area of triangle APB. Alright. A is here, P is here and B is here. Alright. This is what you are supposed to find. Alright. I am putting dot. This area you are supposed to find. Children. Ye dekh lijiye. Triangle APB. और ट्रायंगल ये वाला ये वाला ये पूरा दोनों को जोड़ के ये दोनों को जोड़ के दे लाइ ऑन द सेम बेस एडी एंड बिटवीन द पैरेलल लाइंस एडी एंड बीसी 
So area of triangle APB that we are supposed to find is equal to area of triangle ACD. फिर से देख लो चिल्ड्रन हमें ढूंढना है ए पी बी और ओ चिल्ड्रन कैसे क्योंकि एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल मेरी मिस्टेक हुई है यहां एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए पी बी इज हाफ द एरिया ऑफ पैरेलोग्राम एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी इज ऑल्सो हाफ द एरिया ऑफ पैरेलोग्राम सो दैट्स वाई दे आर इक्वल एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए पी बी एंड एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी विल बी इक्वल क्यों क्योंकि एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए पी बी इज हाफ द एरिया ऑफ पैरेलोग्राम एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी सी इज ऑल्सो हाफ द एरिया ऑफ पैरेलोग्राम ए बी सी डी सो दे आर इक्वल नाउ ए सी डी इज एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए डी पी या डी पी ए बोलो प्लस ए पी सी एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए पी सी नाउ दिस इज फिफ्टीन एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी so that is going to be 35 so area of triangle apb will be equal to area of triangle adc but area of triangle adc sum of areas of this two triangles which is 15 and 20 so that is going to be 35 square centimeter option c is correct okay next the area of figure formed by joining the midpoints of adjacent sides of rhombus with the diagonal 16 and 12 so you have a rhombus children so all sides are equal be careful this is rhombus a b c d now what is area of figure formed by joining the midpoints p q r s children now this is a rectangle rhombus ke andar jo rectangle hai lekin you know area of the red one p q r s is Half the area of ABCD. Correct, children. Now ABCD is rhombus, or rhombus ki formula hai product of half the product of its diagonals. So half to aayega hi. Ye half to dusra result hai. Half the area of ye area of red one is half the area of blue one, and area of blue jo rhombus hai, uski formula hai half the diagonal one AC. Into diagonal to BD, so ये one fourth हो गया. Into AC हमें दिया है AC one diagonal sixteen and other diagonal twelve four ones are four fours are twelve fours are forty eight centimeter square. So forty eight centimeter square is the answer. Clear? Next ABCD are midpoints of sides of parallelogram PQRS. So you have parallelogram PQRS and ABCD. Are the midpoints respectively? So yes, this is again a parallelogram. Hmm? <clears throat> Now area of parallelogram PQRS is thirty six. But you know area of the red ABCD is half the area of green area of PQRS. Now what is given? If area of green is thirty six. So half of thirty six two ones are two eighteen zah. So area of red will be eighteen square centimeter. Area of red will be eighteen square centimeter. So children, that's all that we have in this session. I hope it is fruitful to you. See you in the next session with more objective questions. Till then, goodbye.